Hello, Yarny friends! I am Jude. Welcome to Llamas in Pajamas. If you couldn't tell lately, when you see me wearing all black, or maybe even like a purple robe once in a while, I am in my pajamas. So, we did name this channel for a reason, Llamas in Pajamas, because we wear our pajamas all the time. Since Mr. Pajamas works from home, and I don't, so we are always in our, well, around the house clothes, which we call pajamas. So I just wanted to tell you that so that whenever you see me in an outfit like this all the time, it's because it's what I've been wearing around the house. And they, I have probably about 20 of these. So you're going to see this all the time. Anyways, to get on with the day, I am a lucky llama because I received a Hersner's Mill and Order and a 10 pound mystery box from Kramer Yarns. Now, the 20 pound boxes were out of stock, but I still feel very lucky that I managed to snag a 10 pounder because I ordered pretty late in the night. And out of curiosity, the next day I went to the site and I checked and they were completely gone. I was hoping that they would still be in. I was going to make a community post saying that they might still be there, but they were they were gone. So while on the Kramer site, I ordered a few other yarns because this is my first order with Kramer and I did want to check out some other yarns. I will get my box opener and we'll start with Kramer and then we'll move on to the villains. Ooh. 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 Now these don't have labels. I'm sure everyone's seen a Kramer unboxing before. This feels like cotton. I'll put this here in Loma Vision, but this feels like cotton. I'm going to have to go on their site and see, but I would say that that's cotton. And like a kitchen cotton. Yeah, that's actually quite rougher than I expected it to be. I wonder. I'll have to look on their site and like investigate a little bit to see what these are. But I think that's kitchen cotton. And this is a like a taupe shade. This is a wool blend, I think. It feels like a wool blend. So that's that one. I'll leave one in. And it is unraveling. Yeah, it feels like a wool blend. I can't say that it's... Hmm. When you pet it this way, it actually feels soft. But when you pet it like that, <laughs> in the ends, it doesn't feel as soft. So I think that this is one of those... I think it will feel soft when you make something with it. I'll do that. Oh, it smells good. Oh my gosh, it smells good. Yeah, it's a little slightly scratchy, but at the same time, not. Oh, what an odd yarn. <laughs> scratchy that direction soft that way. What an odd yarn. And it's a really pretty color of taupe though. It's like a grayish, a heavy in the gray, so it's very pretty. I think I have alpaca fur, <laughs> I have alpaca fur all over me. Because <laughs> I, I just did that and now they're all in the yarn. There's alpaca in that yarn now. It's really beautiful. Beautiful color, taupe. I'm not, I can't say I hate browns, but I definitely use less browns than the normal person, I guess, who likes neutral, I mean, people who like neutrals would use a lot of browns, but I tend to like more um, purples and greens and blues and black and gray and brown is, it's not an, a color I dislike, I just don't use it as often. Yeah, I got alpaca fur in that. 
We have, let's see, three of those, which I suspect are cotton. And then we've got five of these taupe colors. This feels, I think the taupe actually feels slightly softer. This black and gray and blue. And there's like this little red flex in it too. There, you can see there's flex on this side. I will. Let Mr. Pajamas do his zooming in and looking at it thing. But that's definitely blue, gray, black, red flex. And this next one is, let me grab one out so I can play with this one and talk about it. I'll put that one in the... This one is black, gray, blue, red, and an orange thread run through this one. Very interesting. Pretty colors. This will make a beautiful blanket. Oh my gosh, it smells so nice. It's definitely rustic. I would I would definitely assign the word rustic to this yarn. Absolutely rustic. But it's not... While it is rougher than I would necessarily prefer, I wouldn't be opposed to making a blanket and using the blanket out of it, though. I would probably wouldn't care for a scarf, but it would make a beautiful blanket. Now this one, I'll throw in there on a good side. Now in this one, we have black, gray, more like a silvery gray, and a teal. So pretty. I think actually out of these three, I think I like these two the most. And this one will be my third. I think I actually like these two the most. You know, I can't say that I wouldn't make a cardigan out of this either, though. It's just, I wouldn't wear it probably against my skin. But if I was wearing long sleeves, I would probably easily wear this like that. Oh, this is pretty. I think my eyes are doing something because that, to me, looked white. And then it looked like a light pink. And I think it's a white, but I think my eyes are. Either that or it's this huge light. And there's, I don't think those green flecks are supposed to be in there. They're just on that one little area. And they're nowhere else. I think that's just from being in this other yarn. But this is a white and black. Then again, this looks like it has little, maybe it's just left over from the factory. This one has a little bit of green flex in it too, but I don't think it's supposed to be in there. I think it's just because of with other yarns. Oh, this is soft. Oh, this is nice and soft. It's like that, a thinner version of that homespun. But, oh, I love this shade of gray. Oh, it's so fluffy. It's so fluffy. Another one of these homespun types, but it looks to be a little thicker than this one. If you can tell the difference. That's one thread. There's one to one. So this is definitely a lot thicker. And this one has grays in it. The same gray that's in this one. It has more of a taupe and a... I would say it's like a, a dull apricot. Okay. I think that's it. Well, I'm definitely not um, unhappy with my box. I mean, these are great. They're very soft. If you like working with this kind of yarn, that can make a really beautiful sweater or carnigan or scarf. Same with this. I actually love this color. And these are all very pretty. I wonder if you wash it, like when you wash it, maybe it will soften up slightly. 
But it's it's got that rusticness to it. It's not bad. It's just rustic. The roughest thing out of here is this cotton, I think. But that very well could soften up. So I, I think for the price of these, I mean, it's great value. And they're all attractive yarns. They're not ugly yarns, so... I can see why people go for it. I mean, they run out of their bags very quickly, and there is a reason for it. Oh, it smells nice. It really does smell good. What's it smell like? Wool. Oh, okay. Feels like a nice, clean wool factory. Mmm. Smells so good. Like, I'm not... It's definitely a bit rough. If you don't mind a more rustic-y, rough scarf, then you will be happy with these. If you do mind, then wear it not against your skin. That's a beautiful shade of taupe. I'm not even a brown person. That is a beautiful shade. So, <clears throat> I'm going to check out the other box that I got. I'm just kind of haphazardly putting these in, unfortunately. But, um, I did not buy this box to keep all of this yarn. I did mean to share it out. So, if you get a, uh, wool that's not, or wool blend that doesn't have a ball band on it, it is from Kramer. Or it is the mill ends that are coming up. So I'm going to have Mr. Pajamas take that down while I get the other box here. Oh. Ooh. I love it when things are packaged like that. <laughs> oh. In case I have another one seen. All right. Just tear into it. There's my package of what I got, which will be helpful to know what these things are called, because I can't remember what I got. Ooh. Ooh, I got sparklies. It's like it's, uh, every time I order, and then I forget what I order, and then it's like, a, it's like opening a present up every time. Oh, this is nice. This is called Perfection Lights. And I'm going to put that in there while I grab another one and read off of it. I got several colors of this. Perfection Lights, 20%, 28% domestic merino, 70% acrylic, 2% polyester. Worsted weight by Kramer Yarns. This colorway is called Admiral Lights. Care instructions, machine wash, gently tumble dry, spun in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, which is where Kramer, Farm, Kramer Yarns is. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, approximately 200 yards. U.S. needle size is number 8. And it looks like they use gold flex and maybe even silver. They use both in this, which is interesting. You know. Yes, you can absolutely see the flex in this, and that really super dark blue. And I got, I think, four of these. While this does have a slightly rusticness to it, it also is quite soft. So I would say these are less rustic than the um, other box. And this one, I'll leave one in. I'll leave one of those in. This one is Copper Lights. We've got four of those. This one is Garnet Lights. This one's called Jelly Lights. Like grape jelly, I think is why. It's called Peacock Lights. Oh, 
onyx lights. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to move some of these this way, I think. And then like this, and then maybe like that. To get them all in there. Ooh. Oh, I love this color. It is called Worsted Weight. It's peppercorn. Every single thing about it is the exact same stats as I just read. But it is a perfection tapas. 23% domestic merino, 77% acrylic. Because it does not have sparkles in it. Worsted weight, peppercorn. That is super pretty. I think it's my I think it's my favorite one. That's super pretty. I like rainbow with black and gray in it. I like that. So that was everything from Kramer. Now, I did not, I did think maybe I would keep these, but the rest I got to put in giveaways. So I'll think about these. Maybe I'll keep them. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. I'm not sure. But pretty much all of these Kramer yarns I got to try because I've never felt Kramer yarns before and I intended it to be for giveaways. So, so <clears throat> it's Hirschner Mill End time. This is my first Hirschner Mill End box because the last time that I ordered, um, I was watching everyone else unboxing all of the different colors and like two weeks were going by and the videos for them started to end and I was like, well, where's mine? So I went on my email, which I rarely go on my email. I do more now that we're doing this, but before I barely looked at my email. So I went there for investigation and uh, found out that they had refunded my money because they ran out of millions. So I missed out and I always end up finding out about the mill ends way too late. So I've never gotten to even order them. So I was super excited the last time because I actually got to order them for the first time. I still didn't get them, but this time I finally got them and I started getting a little bit worried because I started seeing lots of videos about people showing off the colors that they got. And I was starting to get a little bit worried, but these did show up just yesterday. So. Let's see what colors I got. I'm super excited because, um, as I understand it, these mill ends are hobium. I guess the same things that hobium sells. And hobium is a place that I still have not ordered from yet. I've always wanted to order. I will order at some point. But I still have never ordered from hobium. So... This will be the first time I'm feeling any of these yarns. So today is basically just a day of first for me. So let's take a look at what colors I got. I'm just going to go I almost dumped it off the table. I feel like I'm a little dangerous with this. Get that out of my hand. I'm dangerous today with that. Okay. Ah! It's all falling out. Okay, I'll pack it all over the end cap. Merino gradient mill ends. 75% acrylic, 25% wool, 200 grams per ball, 400 grams bag total, machine wash, cold lay flat to dry, three sport. Ooh, that's a nice feeling. So I got another red one. And a purple and pink. With a little bit of bluish gray. Okay, we gotta see the tally at the end, how many I got of what colors. We have a red again. And this tiny one. This tiny, tiny, tiny one. Ooh! Another red. How many is that? Four reds now? 
this gray with some yellow in it. Which I'll put in there. These are the alpaca. Oh, that is soft. Oh, that's nice. And the alpaca is 80% acrylic, 20% alpaca. 225 grams per ball, 450 grams bag total. Hand wash, lie flat to dry, three sport weight, size four needle, seven size hook. You see the little alpaca hairs in there. That would make a really nice baby blanket. If you could use alpaca for a baby blanket, that is. And I got the same color in this. This is a gray and pink and like a bit of like a rosy red. I like pink and gray together though. Alpaca gradient. Oh, I got a gray and white. Nice. That's nice. That's up my alley. This gray and white alpaca. Gray and pink, but a clearly smaller cake than the other one. And is it is that dark? Uh, it does have that dark, but it's missing a little bit of it. This one is gray and like a cream. Maybe a parchment shade, purple and pink. Ooh, that's a nice feeling. And now we are down to the cotton cakes, and it looks like I got all the same, oh, all the same color in the cotton cakes. Maybe I should have gotten more cotton cakes today. <laughs> Maybe I'll go down and order some because I got all the same color. And it's a color that is a lot of people love. And it's sparkly. It's pretty. I think this is my favorite is the... I think these are my favorite. Um, Self-striping cotton cake mill ends. 100% cotton or 46... 96% cotton, 4% metallic. Well, that's definitely metallic or 55% cotton and 45% acrylic. These actually feel like they have some acrylic in them. So these are probably the 53% cotton, 43% acrylic, and 4% metallic. Approximately 225 grams in the cake. And it's two, which is fine sport weight, a C2 hook, or size two needles. I would guess that these are the blend of cotton and acrylic because it feels like it. And I love the cotton and acrylic blend. I think that's always a nice soft cotton. So these would be a little tough for me to get rid of all of them. I think I'm gonna have to order some, <laughs> some more because <laughs> this is really pretty. Really pretty. So that was my Hershner's Millens. Um, I like that I got a whole bunch of one color. So I was definitely putting those together and doing something with them. The other ones, I have no idea. I mean, I think I would send them on and hopefully other people have the same color and they can do something with having more colors. Um, but I do plan on probably putting most of them in giveaways. I didn't plan on buying them for myself. Um, that's about it though. Pretty quick, pretty sweet, pretty short, pretty fun, sort of. I don't know how quick it is. I don't think it's that quick. <laughs> but I wanted it to be quick, but I don't think it was quick. So <clears throat> that's about it. Tell me what you think about Kramer yarns if you've had them before. Tell me if you wouldn't mind putting the or getting the mill ends in uh, giveaways because I would love to give them. Maybe people will add on to what they have. I would like to do that. That's it for me. Bye, yarny friends. Mm -hmm.